Live from San Francisco, it's theCUBE. Covering Samsung Developer Conference 2017. Brought to you by Samsung. Okay, welcome back everyone. Live here in San Francisco, this is theCUBE's exclusive coverage of Samsung Developer Conference, SDC 2017. I'm John Furrier, co-founder of SiliconANGLE Media and co-host of theCUBE. My next guest is Dominic Venutu, who's the GM, uh, general manager of the consumer division of the Weather Channel and Watson Advertising, which is part of the Weather Company. Welcome to theCUBE. Thank you for having me. Finally, I got the consumer guy on. I've interviewed uh, the Weather Company folks from the IBM side, two different brands. One's the data, there's a big data science operation going on, the whole weather company. But Weather Channel, the consumer stuff, Weather Underground, that's your product. Yes, you save the best for last. So we touch the consumer. It's the, where the content is good. So obviously the hurricanes have been in the news over the years. Out here in California, the fires. Um, people are interested in weather, the impact. It used to be a, a unique thing on cable. Go to the Weather Channel, and check the forecast, read the paper. Now with online apps, weather is constantly a utility for users. So it's not a long tail editorial product. It's pretty fundamental. Yeah. we. Uh, we want to be where our consumers are. I mean, fundamentally, we want to help people make better decisions and propel the world. And since weather touches everything, yeah. we need to be where the consumers are. So now, with all the digital touch points, whether that's your phone, whether it's a watch, yeah. your television, uh, desktop, if you still have one, you're still using it, some <laughs> of us do, uh, we want to be there uh, for that very reason. And in fact, what we're, what we're aiming for is to move from a utility, because if we're going to help people make better decisions, we, a utility only goes so far but be a platform to, uh, to anticipate uh, behavior and drive decisions. So talk about the Weather Underground and the weather.com uh, consumer product. They're all the one and the same now. Obviously one was a very successful user generated content. This is not going away. Explain the, the product side of the Weather Channel consumer division. Yeah, so uh, we have two brands in our portfolio. Weather Underground, which is more of a challenger brand. It's very data, uh, data rich uh, and visualizes data in a number of different ways that uh, a certain user group really, really loves. So if you're a weather, if, uh, a weather geek, geek as, we, as we call them, uh, an avid aficionado of weather and you want to you really get in there and understand what's happening and, uh, and look at the data, then Weather Underground is a platform. Uh, and we For started- For users to tie into, to put up weather stations, um, and other things that might be relevant. Exactly, right? exactly. So uh, we started out in 2001, where we the f uh, originally like the first IoT implementation yeah. at the consumer level, connected devices, where you could connect a personal weather station, put one in your backyard, and connect it to our platform, and feed hyper-local data into, uh, into our network. And then we feed that into our forecast to improve that, uh, and actually validate whether uh, 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 the forecast is, is right or not based on what people have at home. And we've hit, we've hit uh, a, a recent milestone. We've got over 250,000 personal weather stations connected to the network, which we're, which we're super thrilled about. And now uh, what we're doing is we're extending that network to other connected devices. Yeah. And air quality is a topic, uh, is, a, is a big topic right now in other parts of the world, especially in, in Asia, yeah. uh, where air quality is not, uh, uh, not always where it, where it should be. Um, that's, a, that's a big thing we think yeah. we can. Uh, well, it's an innovation can... opportunity for you. I mean, you point out the underground product was part of maker culture, people doing it yourself, weather stations, evolved now into really strong products, that same dynamic could be used for air control, not just microclimates. Exactly, exactly, yeah. And I mean, uh, California, we had a problem this week. I, yeah, exactly, California's a good, a good example, like really topical, where, uh, where cities may have had great air quality, all of a sudden the environment changes, and you want to you wanna know, what is, uh, what is it like, what is the breathing quality like outside right now? Uh, and you can, come to, you can come to our network and see that. And we're and we're we're growing the uh, air quality sensors uh, every month. It's only been up uh, a few a few months right now, so that's that's expanding quite well. So for the folks that don't know, the Weather Channel back end has a huge data driven product. I don't want to get into that piece because we've talked about it. Go to YouTube.com/SiliconAngle, search Weather Company. You'll see all our great videos from the IBM events and around if you want the detail. But I do want to ask you what, what's really happening with you guys is two things. One is it's an app and content for devices like Samsung's using. And two, essentially you're an IoT network. And sensors are sensors. It, it, you know, whether they're user generated or user populated, you guys are deploying a serious IoT 
capability. A abs absolutely, it's one of the it's one of the reasons that IBM acquired the weather the weather company, which houses the brands of Weather Underground and the Weather Channel, is that we have this uh, fantastic infrastructure, this IoT infrastructure, ingesting large amounts of data, processing it, and then serving it back out to out to consumers at scale globally. I mean, so what we, are you guys we, doing there with Samsung? Anything just particular on the IoT side, or? Uh, we, we have we've got a couple of initiatives going on with Samsung. A few I can't mention right now, but 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 stay tuned. Some really some really cool things in the connected home uh, that uh, that we're excited about that builds on some of the Nest work. Nest competitor? Uh. Uh, not exactly a Nest competitor. Think more. Uh, think more. User experience. Ki kitchen. Kitchen. Okay. Think more kitchen. Well, we had the uh, the, the 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 goods cooking in the kitchen from our previous guest. The question is, okay, IoT person, I get that. What else is going on with IoT for you guys that you can share? Uh, well, for us, it's obviously lifestyle in the home is great. But yeah. Uh, so again, going back to how do we make how do we help people make better decisions? Uh, now that we we're collecting data from not just personal weather stations, but uh, air quality monitors, we're collecting it from cars, we're collecting it from the cell phone. Uh, we're really able to ingest data at scale, and when you're doing when you're doing that, we've got hundreds of thousands of data sets that are feeding into our models. Mm -hmm. When you do that, you, you need the, we've solved the, the computing challenge. Now we're applying machine learning yeah. uh, and artificial intelligence to process this and extract insights, validate our, our data sets uh, and our forecast, and then deliver that back to the end user. So one of the tech geeks themes we talk about all the time is policy-based something. You know, programming, setting the policy. So connecting the dots from what you're saying is, I'm driving my car, I might want to know when it's hotter on the road temperature, I might want to know if I'm running too fast and my, my sensor device on me wants to impact the weather, if I'm having trouble breathing, for instance. You just the lifestyle impact. So the content of data is not just watching a video on the Weather Channel. No. So uh, this is a new user experience. It's immersive, it's uh, lifestyle oriented, it's relevant. What are some of the products you're doing with Samsung that can enable this new user expectation? Uh, well, uh, one of the ones, one of the products that we have right now, and we're one of the initial uh, partners for the Made for Samsung uh, program, uh, is we've got calendar integration in uh, in our app. So now we know if you've got a meeting coming up, you, and it and it's at, uh, and you need to travel to get there. Maybe there's a car trip involved. Uh, we we know obviously the forecast. We know uh, what traffic might be, and we can give you a heads up and alert that says, hey, you might want to leave 15 minutes early for that meeting coming up. That's in the Samsung product right now, which is really again helping people make better helping people <laughs> make better decisions. Yeah. Uh, so we've got a lot of examples like that. But the calendar integration in the Made for Samsung app is really is really exciting. We recently uh, uh, announced, in fact, I think it was this morning we announced our integration with TripAdvisor. So similarly, if we see time on your calendar and the weather is fine for the weekend, we might suggest uh, outdoor activities for you to go uh, and explore using TripAdvisor's almost one billion uh, library of, uh, of events that they have. What's the coolest thing you guys are working on right now? Oh. That's a long. That's a very. <laughs> that's a very long list. Uh, I, I I say that I'm probably the luckiest guy in IBM right now because I get to uh, work with millions of consumers. We reach 250 million consumers a month, uh, and I'm also bringing Watson to consumers uh, and artificial intelligence, uh, which is a unique. Uh, a unique challenge to solve, uh, introducing consumers to new to a new paradigm of user interaction and uh, and ability. So I think the the most exciting thing is taking artificial intelligence and machine learning and bringing that bringing that to consumers at scale and solving some of the challenges there. That's, well, that's congratulations! Really I'm a big fan of IBM what they're doing the weather weather data, the weather company, weather channel, bringing in that data and immersing it into these new networks that are being created, new capabilities really helps the consumer, so hope to see you at the Think conference coming up next yes, year. Yes, we're excited about that, and you may stay tuned. We may have some, uh, some more exciting stuff to unveil. Make sure our, our writers get a hold of it, break the stories. It's the Cube bringing you the data here. The weather's fine in San Francisco today. I'm John Furrier with the Cube. More from live from San Francisco for the SDC, Samsung Developer Conference, after this short break.